and salutations. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over how to automate updating a Dataverse table with data read from a CSV file. Now, normally you would do this using Power Automate Cloud version, specifically when dealing with a Dataverse table. But in this video, I will show you how to do this using Power Automate Desktop version and PowerShell to do some of the heavy lifting. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Dataverse table called Product Inventory. It consists of six columns, and there's presently six entries in the table. Now, the job at hand is to update this table with new data that is in the updated CSV file. This CSV file can be exported from some other platform or a file that is generated through some other automation. So we will go over clearing this data and inserting this new data from a CSV file into the Dataverse table, all using Power Automate desktop version. So follow along and let's begin. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to load the data from our CSV file into Power Automate desktop. So we're going to use the <clears throat> read from CSV file option. Yeah. And our file path will be the path of where CSV is contained. So we copy that in there. And we leave our encoding as UTF-8. First line is column names. Let's turn this on because that is the case. We're going to trim our fields so there's any, and we're going to stall it. Produce the data on our CSV table. So let's save that. And well, let's remove the quotes. Save that. And if we just run that. We have our data. Perfect. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I create variables, and these variables store values that will be used to generate a token. And the token will then be used against Microsoft Service to authenticate to pull the information that we're looking for. And if you don't know where to get these values, I did this in a previous video that I will link in the description, and I just go over how we go about obtaining these these uh, values in your environment. Okay, so after we get our variables, we want to go ahead and run a PowerShell script. And in this script, we're going to call an invoke REST method. We're going to do it this way. So we get, we'll have a URL, which will be different for you. In our body, we reference our ID, secret, brand type, and scope, which I all said is variables, but you can have yours hard-coded here. Um, and then we call invoke rest method on the URL uh, with our body parameters. We store that in response, and then our token will be response.access underscore token. So let's rename this to token and save that. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see if we get our token. And we got a random string of characters here, which will be our token that we'll use to authenticate. Okay, great. Okay, so prior to uh, injecting new data into our Dataverse table, I want to go through and delete all the data that's there. So we're going to clear it first and then put in the new data read from our CSV file. And I'm going to do that with PowerShell. I'm actually going to insert this directly into Power Automate, but I put it, I'm going to put it here so you guys can see the, the code. And <clears throat> it's, uh, it's very simple code. Essentially, uh, we define our Dataverse table name for me it is crab3 underscore product inventories and our dataverse url which will be organization url 
um, this exact string of data and then your entity logical name, which is your product, um, your product table name. Then uh, we define our headers, which will use our token, which is a variable within um, Power Automate. We reference that just with our percent token percent. And then we actually uh, invoke a REST method with our Dataverse URL with our headers. And this is going to get us everything that's in our Dataverse table. And we assign that to our records variable. Now, if it is zero, then we just exit. Meaning if the table is empty, we exit. Otherwise, we go through each record and we essentially delete each record individually. Now, depending on the size of your tables, you might want to uh, change this up to be more effective and efficient. But for now, we cycle through each record and delete that record. Once uh, it's deleted, we just output all records deleted successfully. So we come back to our Power Automate screen and we insert another Run PowerShell script. We just take that data and we paste it in here. And we're going to, let's just change the name of these. This is actually our, we're going to call this delete results. And let's turn on any errors. Call this delete errors. And save that. So essentially, we're going to load the data from our CSV file, set our variables, get our token, and then use our token to delete everything that's in our table. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. So this is how our uh, data looks in our database table. It's roughly six entries here. So if we go ahead and run our script, or rather our automation. OK, so that completed, and our delete errors is empty. So I assume that it ran without issues. And we go ahead and look at our data again. And let's refresh this. We now have no entries within our table. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have uh, actions that will clear our Dataverse table, we need to now insert data from our CSV tile. And our CSV uh, file data is contained in the CSV table variable here. You can see um, code name, color, notes, product line, product type, and title. So I'm going to assign each of these columns to a variable. We're going to loop through and assign each one to a variable. So let's close that. And we're going to run a for each. So our values to iterate is going to be our CSV table. And we'll leave that set to current item. Now we're going to set some variables. So our code is going to be our current item, our first entry. And we're just going to copy, paste, paste, paste. One, two, three, four, five. We have six columns here. So we're going to do it six times. Oops. So code is first, and then color. And 
no notes. Line. This is three. Type. Okay. So all of our uh, columns are now set to variables. Perfect. So we now have to associate those variables we made to each column in our Dataverse table. And to get the correct column names, you go into schema columns. And here, you have to find the appropriate column. And then you're gonna grab the name. So this one here is crab3 underscore additional notes, crab3 underscore caller, crab3 underscore line of products, etc. Okay, so now we're gonna use PowerShell to actually insert the data into Dataverse. Surprise, surprise. So I'm gonna paste in the code, and similar to before, we defined our logical name, which is our uh, tables name. We define the Dataverse URL referencing the table name, our headers, which uses the token variable. And now I'm going to create a um, hash table here called insert data, where I associate each column name with the appropriate variable name. So Product title is title, line of product, line, type, type, etc. So once we define that, we actually convert the payload into JSON with this line. We take insert data and we pass it with our convert to JSON. We set the depth at 10 and we compress it. And that is now our JSON data. And just this, this is a, a debug output, this is optional, just to verify your headers are correct and to see how your JSON data looks. And then we, we actually insert it. So we call it invoke rest method on our Dataverse URL. We post it, pass our headers, and our body is actually the JSON data. And then our record created successfully will print out with the record ID. Otherwise, it'll print fail to create record and uh, write fail to insert row with whatever that title is. So I'm going to grab this now and actually insert this into our Power Automate action. Okay, so now we're going to insert our PowerShell script here. Let's paste in our code. Yeah. And I want to capture any errors. We can save that. Okay. Perfect. So this is going to read our CSV top file, uh, set our variables to authenticate, uh, run a script to authenticate, then run another script to delete, and then loop over all the the fields in our CSV tile and insert it into our Dataverse table. So if we look at our table, let's just go edit. There's nothing in here. So let's go ahead and run our Power Automate script. And this does insert row by row, but of course, for large data sets, we would probably hand over this um, these steps to a PowerShell script. Okay. 
that completed. So if we look at our data, we now have all the data from our CSV file insert into our Dataverse table. Perfect. And that's all she wrote. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, we are available to help you on larger projects. Email us at hello at aipsolutions.tech. Thanks for watching. This has been brought to you by